Let's do Almechia since we have some hunts here anyway. Titan's Wake. Titan's Wake is way over here. So I haven't even gone that way. Okay. But I have a path right there. This is a... Uh, it's not an S if it gives me the location. Pretty much gonna be certain of that, so... Because you're all the S's, you have to kind of figure out where it is by the description. Should be more than enough potions for like an A or a B rank, whichever it is. No, no, I don't, I don't feel like doing that. Bye! You just can warp in all you like, I don't care. Titan's Wake. No mistakes. Hi. Uh, it's gonna be you with that fallen ship over there. A lot of pathways over here. I think this oh this area is huge. See something there? No, that's a tree. Well, it is actually here. Oh. Oh, it's one of you. All right. Thanatos. Cool. Hey, you're an A rank. This should be fine. Another of your friends, Ultima. If it's me you want, I'm right yep, here. Yep, that's not how I dodged that. Dude, it's so fast, though. Holy crap. There we go. You gonna keep going or what? Like. Jeez. Great rings. Oh god, the rings again. That's better. Ow. Well done, Toma. There you go. Oh, is that a heal? No thanks. What if I hit you with this first? Oh, I can't see anything right now. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, that was way too early. Nice try. He's gonna keep just going back and forth with this. I might as well get Mega Players out of it. Too jerk. Out of the field. I still didn't set the Titan ability. Oh my god. Just going off everywhere. Oh. Too slow. Now you just gonna start going back and forth, right? Yeah.
Mega Flare got him. Okay. Easy. Very easy. That hunt down. I have one in Balud, Balud, and the two S ranks. Dark Steel. Thanatos or the Prince of Death. I don't Don't come back. Any names. All right, well, let's go to Tabor and do the quest here since we're already right here. Right here. Teleport, thank you. All right, Tabor, you had a couple of quests. I don't think I did a single beckons. one of Who? them. Among you is bold enough. Hello, Tanner. Is that blade for hire, perchance? Because I have a mind to make a killing. Figuratively, I hope. <laughs> well, yes and no. A passing caravan carried with it a rumor most fortuitous for one in my trade, that an elder Dread Evis had been sighted in the fields of Carava. Dread Evis are aggressive beasts. Compelled as they are to acts of violence, few survive to maturity. But those that do develop a hide of phenomenal value. A hide you want to sell? Eventually, yes. Though I would have it tanned first that it might be crafted into marvels the likes of which the world has never seen. Dread Evis skin is a rare thing indeed. But the worked hide of a well-aged beast? Now, that would fetch such coin that Gilbot himself might weep with envy. Bring me that beast's skin, and I will share with you the bounty of our combined labors. Works for me. Thank you for the likes also, Omar. All right. Sure. I'll hunt your Evis. Hunt a dragon. Of Easy. course you will. When one lives in such troubled times, it is a fool who lets opportunity slip his grasp. Leave Tabor through the east gate, but take the path that branches west. Once you reach the checkpoint at Tovany, you are a mere stone's throw from the fields of Carava. I eagerly await your safe and, above all, triumphant return. Okay. Easy quest. Yeah, it's like, I got like 25 rep for it. Very easy. What else we got around here? Up the th oh, no, right in there. Is the undying? I believe so. Lord Rosfield. Yep. Is there aught the undying might assist you with this day? Perhaps. My brother said that your order was helping him with his quest to uncover Ultima's origins. Have you learned anything of note since last we spoke? Little and less, I regret to report. I see. Be assured, however, that we will not rest until the truth is known. Even now, our archaeologians scour ruins in every corner of the realm for traces of Ultima's touch. Fallen ruins, I take it. Dating back as far as Phoenix Gate. Indeed. Mm. Ultima's thralls are oft sighted among the remnants of the fallen civilization, as if protecting the secrets concealed within. Secrets we'd see unearthed. Should our methods be of interest, my lord, mayhap it would please you to observe some of our number at work. Would that be possible? Of course. A survey has been conducted not far from here. Perchance you are familiar with Kretov, a small hamlet built around a fallen airship. I was due to visit my colleagues there to collect their preliminary well, see, findings, back, yeah. but if you a good nap. would consent to do so in my stead, I'm sure that they would be honored to relate any discoveries they have made to you directly. All right. All right. I'll go and meet with them. They will Good be most nice. gratified, I am sure. Might I suggest you take the road through Titan's Wake? It will lead you straight to the village. I think that's where I just was. I should have came walk. here and accepted these quests. Thank you. I will. I wish you a safe journey, my lord. May the Firebird's flames burn ever in your heart. Duty Undying. And there's one more here, I believe. Yeah. Oh, it's on the way out anyway. 
So I should probably go to this one first because then I can just travel to Dravoged Dravoged after. It's kind of you to take an interest in the Undying's oh. affairs, brother. But I can't have you all keeping secrets from me, can I? <laughs> Interesting seeing them actually respond to the taking that quest. No, I forgot that it came out yesterday. Should have, but you didn't know. Oh, yeah. No, I used to, all the anime that I'd been watching always updated on the weekends, so I completely forgot that that came out. Probably won't end up watching it till you this weekend, there, though. This strapping lad with the sword. Hello there, Milo. Finally, no one was paying me the slightest heed. Is something wrong? At the university, the students would hang on my every word. Sadly, this far from home. I'm just a vagrant greybeard. The university? You're a scholar. A specialist in ancient cultures, the most accomplished Good, okay. in all Valisthea, some have said. I the show being I fun. the part in these tattered rags. In my heyday, no obstacle could have kept me from my studies. Yet here I am, a wizened windbag, bested by the many steps of Tabor. The answers I seek lying just beyond my enfeebled reach. Would you do an old man a kindness and brave the stairs? Brave the stairs? In what my do you stair? need, man? You'll be amply rewarded, of course. I might learn something. Climb Here. stairs and... And memorize a few inscriptions for me. Uh, assuming you know your letters, that is. Uh, some courteous soul is rumored to have carved clues to Tabor's rich history into stones dotted about the village. Uh, three of them, to be precise. Uh, one each to the north, south, and east. I'm here in the hope that those carvings might shed light on a riddle I've been pondering for some time. Namely... The otherwise undocumented origins of Tabor's unique people. Uh, people quite unlike those of neighboring lands. I can't promise I'll remember everything perfectly. Uh, remember what you can. I'll piece together the rest. Make for the domed pavilions, and you'll have no trouble finding the stones. It's easy enough. Interesting quest. Well, there's also one right here. Why isn't he checking this one? Children of the hunters, now tillers of the land, reap her promised blessing. Raise her gracious hand. And give praise her precious hand. Farmers must have settled here in Tabor. Where's from where, though? This seems like a desert. Wonders of the Golden Plains, lay your roots in stone. With pride, recall thy noble past and make these rocks a home. What We're golden also. plains might the wanderers have called home, I wonder? Have you noticed the elder has been mm. not a scratch on them? His hides off. The elder has been coughing less. That sounds like a good thing. Not actually often you hear them talking about good things when you uh run by people. Alright, final stone. Guardians of the Crystal, the first stains of Tabor, sacred hold thy noble blood till the end till ends the mother's labor. They were nobles. No history would be complete without mention of the mother crystals. I should speak to the old scholar before I forget everything I've read. So it's these stones to Canva and the rest it's just of the boxes to Dallas. Two goblin coins. I've been forgetting to sell those. 
I haven't really needed the money for anything, so... Elixirs are expensive, but I've never really needed them. I'm all worried I'd accidentally use one when I didn't need it. All right, there. Scholar. Engravings were in good repair considering their age. Oh, what that I could have seen for myself. Oh, come, don't tease me now. What did you learn of this place and its people? Uh, let's start with the engraving to the south, shall we? Oh, what did it say? Oh, God, which one was the south? The great good Mughal guardians. <laughs> guardians of the crystal, I guardians believe. Guardians of the crystal. The first stones of Tabor. Sacred hold thy noble blood till ends the mother's labor. I'm pretty sure that was it. Fascinating. It would seem the founders of this city were descendants of those fallen charged with protecting the mother crystals. But oh, whatever could have driven the guardians so far from their sacred charges, I wonder. The engraving to the north is next, I think. Um, Riders of the Snowy Slopes. <laughs> Wanderers of the Golden Plains, lay your roots in stone. With pride recall thy noble past and make these rocks a home. Or, I think that was it, at least. Head to bed. Have a good night, Gabby. Right. There are vestiges of nomadic customs and tables. Even two hours? Guardian roots Jeez. could never account for. This is proving most enlightening. Now, for the final stone. It's the farmer's one. Um, Children of the Hunters, now tillers of the land. Children now of dancing the hunters, hand in hand. Now tillers of the land. Reap her promised blessing and give praise her gracious hand. That's all three. And so... We add primitive farmers to Tabor's founding peoples. The final piece of the puzzle. Three engravings. One for each of the three peoples to have settled Tabor. Oh, so three in different times. people, not, not different descriptions of the crystal, same people. Wanderers okay. from across the plains. And last, but certainly not least, hunters turned farmers. Little wonder it was so difficult to trace the roots of Tabor's culture. Those there is no one specific. Down through yeah. three distinct traditions. Nonetheless, one cannot help but wonder why this fact is not better known among scholars, given that the stones stand here for all to see. Too many stairs, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> Too many He's got jokes. Far. Here, yeah, and thank you. Easy quest, okay. Sweet. And another goblin coin. Alright, so now head out. Head back to Titan's Titan's Wake. Careful how you pack that leather. Any crystal will bring down the price. Are you buying or selling? Oh, increases going to damage by 30%. Oh, well, so that's um stagger, not actually um not actually anything else? Straight damage. A fine choice. All right, so we need to get down They weren't kidding. This opens up so many side quests, and this is like what we've done three areas now. Yeah, oh. Also going the wrong way. Come on.
Doesn't seem like there's a lot of quests opening up in the other area because there aren't any people alive over there now. So, you know. Man, those are orcs. Orcs in here. Uh, I gotta keep running out this way. Oh, yeah, there's all the specters that appeared as I ran by before. Okay. Dravage doesn't have any quests. In. That's only the quests we have. Oh, then there's still. Fuck, lad has four. That's right, because I ran through that. I don't think I did a single quest in that area. Back. So now they're just regular fallen over here Nothing where I bought there. the other one before. I believe that should be the fallen ship that we're looking for. Time to Another fight. Kashik around. That's cool. Get right here. Oh, that river is just over Akashic like crazy. Oh, there's a teleport here. That would have been useful. You deserve a rest. So how is there a village? How do some of these have fallen things that keep appearing next to them? But sometimes there's just towns. Oh, never mind. Well, I guess you'll pay for this. I guess they do just appear here sometimes. Can I still be survivors? All the more reason to rip this place of echoes. Check against that jerk. Wow, they just laid waste to everybody here. I hope there's more undying than the ones that were here. What are you? Whatever that thing is, I'd say it's the really special one. No thanks. Come on, try it again. Nice try. The best moves you could have done. Thank you. Nice try. Next time I set that move. Enemies approach. Why? What? Oh, they're behind me. Okay, well. New enemies can go right away. Goodbye. I should go use those action points, huh? Should have stayed. Any of them, the any of them hiding somewhere? Hopefully. These must be Cyril's colleagues. Nope. 
You have our thanks, stranger. Howdy, Gregory. Who are you? Or I'm dying, obviously. Look at their robes. Ah, forgive me, my lord. I did not recognize you. You are Lord Rosfield, are you not? We Joshua are right here. Origins, tasked with surveying this site. When the echoes appeared, our brothers here occupied their attentions. Thanks to them and to you, we were, for a mercy, able to see our duty. We can not yet for me. I still have work you tomorrow. Call that a mercy. Your brothers might still be alive if you put their safety before your duty. Surely this survey wasn't worth dying for. We are charged with uncovering Ultima's origins. A duty of the highest import, as I'm sure you will agree. So after you think tomorrow afternoon, I'll be ready for my too. weekend. I know they would. They gave their lives for the cause, an honor to which all undying aspire. Now, to what do we owe the honor of your presence, Lord Marquis? Cyril told me of your work here, and I agree to collect your findings in his stead. He is unhappy. That is most kind. Pray, take them then, with our humble thanks. May the Firebird's flame burn ever in your heart, as it does in ours. What about you, Gregory? Are you ready for the weekend? It's one thing to lay down your life for another. But for a survey... Forgive them, Clive. The Undying live by a very different creed, and nothing we say will change that. Come. Let us deliver their findings to Cyril, that their deaths might not be in vain. Alright, before I forget, I need to go set Titan's ultimate. Getting to do it. Actually, I can upgrade. And what else? Anything else is just master. I'm not using anything else. Is it just master it then, right? Oh, I don't have enough. Just kidding then. Alright, well, I just hold those points. Oh, you can travel through here now. Why was this closed off before? I would have to open the door from this side, that's why. Well, that's good to know, at least. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Alright. And now for our Dread Avis. The items just laying around. Okay. Be safe. Old he may be, but it looks like there's still plenty of fight in him yet. No, you don't. Come on. Nice. Thank you. On the power go. Should be staggered by the time that this ends. Beautiful. Maybe a little bit overkill for this little thing. There we go. Jeez. Oh, I'm thinking this quest is probably uh not at the level that I'm at now. Okay, well. Two, t two more quests just showed up now that I did those. Unless that's turning these in, that may also just be the, the quest marker for it. Yeah, that might be it. Here's your dragon skin. Here's your hide. As requested. I worried you might never return. Quickly, let me see it. Hand it over. Oh, a 
as supple as a maiden's cheek, yet as adamant as her virtue. This is what? everything I had hoped for, and more. Clearly, my trust in you was not misplaced. You must be a hunter of considerable talent to have bested the beast with nary a scratch. Join me as my honored partner. With my means and your might, we shall be as wealthy as the merchant kings of Zemeckis. I don't plan on making a habit of this. I'm busy enough as it is. <laughs> Very well. Though I believe fate had a hand in our meeting, it would be unbecoming of me to beg. Do not allow me to keep you from being about your business. Here, for the hide. <laughs> Some experience, some rep. Why not? Easy enough to do on the way to the other more important stuff, so. All right, Cyril. Ah, oh, you are returned, my lord. I collected your colleague's preliminary findings. Here, take them. The question is, did they actually find anything? Or did they just go there and I die? Shall study and... Them, oh. and inform you forthwith if I discover aught that might aid you in your fight against Ultima. Cyril, your survey party suffered several losses in Kratov. Losses which could have been avoided had the others not chosen to complete their work instead of saving their friends. Were these your orders? No. This was their choice. Every undying devotes his life to the service of the Phoenix. It is our sole duty. And should we die in discharging it, so be it. Even when death is avoidable. My lord, I fear that this is <laughs> not a point over which it would be fruitful to argue. The undying have served the Phoenix for countless generations. And your opinion of our methods, however earnest, is not like to change them. We live to serve the Phoenix. Our very order exists for that purpose, and that purpose alone. Cyril, I know that you and your brethren answer only to Joshua, but I'm also a part of advice. So listen up. It does not further the cause of the Phoenix to have his loyal followers surrender their lives without good reason. Provide your survey parties with an escort. That they might live to do their duty for years to come. Think not only of how you can serve the Phoenix, but how Joshua would want you to serve him. Please. For all our sakes. I thank you for your advice, my <laughs> Your lord. advice? If you will permit me to respond. Our faith in his grace, Joshua Rossfield, is absolute. <laughs> and we of the Undying will do what we believe is right to fulfill our duty. Like he's like, him. yeah, thanks for your suggestion. I just As don't really care. Shield to the Phoenix, <laughs> I'm sure you understand what it means to do one's duty. I do. Then we are of the same mind. And it is my hope that we may continue. <laughs> yeah, thanks for the only one advice. I don't really care. Breath of Ice. Great. I'm not using any of those. Howdy, Angelic. How are you doing? All right. Table requests done. And one more in Dalamil, and then all of those up in Bachlad. The map look. So that's Dalamil, this is Bachlad. Uh, can I zoom out? There we are. Okay, so we got like four here, one here, and then whatever is up here. So there's one at Lost Wing, and one at Northreach. This is going quicker than I expected. Doing all right. It's warm, but thankfully it's cooling down some. 
work today was brutal though. It was hot as hell. Um, oh, is it this guy again? I hate doing quests for this guy. I like him. Great. Hello, Lubor. Clive. To what do I owe the pleasure? I just wanted to see how the town's been fed since know. you brought everyone oh, together. Oh, what you mean about work? Yeah. Since we brought it's everyone a bummer, together, but... all is absolutely wonderful. Conrad and Natalie's hands remain it's work. safely away from each other's throats huh. and firmly at the helm. Our stores are full and the bandits still too disorganized uh -huh. to raid them. Just as the good Lady Jane and Lord Underhill intended. Are you a lord? Lubor's going to be one too. Great. They're going to make him the Lord of Dalamil. Because of how he stopped all the grown-ups from fighting. It's the mayor of Dalamil, dear <laughs> child. And the vote hasn't taken place just yet. But if the people wish me to lead them, I shall. And my first act will be to build a school <laughs> so that menaces like you two exactly. learn Fridges not and to free. interrupt your elders. Oh, we got a big discount on it because there was a Speaking little dent menaces, in the bottom. There may be a rather worrying one just over the horizon. May there indeed. I'm afraid the example Conrad and Natalie set in putting aside their differences in presenting a united front might have caught the bandits' attention. Now, are they banding and together? They yeah. might have elected to take a similar approach. They have formed what one could call yeah. a League of Outlaws. Thankfully, I think this is the last quest the for Lubor. But we'll fight them all off just like last time. No matter how many of them there are. Won't we, Lubor? Of course we will. If we continue to work together, we can overcome any challenge we choose to face. The longer we avoid facing this one, the more difficult it will be. Until the only way to overcome it might be to run for the hills. Our best hope is to nip these efforts at organization in the bud. By finding those ne'er-do-wells who have yet to join the cause and ensuring that they never do. Good. L Perhaps let me go deal with them and get away from this guy, please. Might be willing to lend us his aid once more. How could I refuse? How could I refuse? Yeah, that's definitely how Thank I feel you, about Lord. that. Victor will fill Inner you in is Yemi. What do you have in crumpets? I have him stationed by the desert gate, receiving and collating reports from my scouts. Such an amenable soul. He reminds me of you. I'll go and <laughs> speak with him. We lines in the sand. Let's get away from this guy, please. A lord and a mayor. That's easy. Ah, One there of you are. Them a, a league of outlaws. Sounds like we have some competition. Hmm. Ooh, garlic chicken and veggie noodle. Sounds very good. Hello, Victor. Still in Dalamil, Victor. Ah, Sid. I thought you'd have returned to Kostnis by now. I did. Then I came back. I've developed something of a fondness for the place. And having mm. worked so hard to see it saved from one fate, it would seem remiss to abandon it to another. A sentiment Master Lubor certainly isn't shy about <laughs> exploiting. Hence my Sounds like Lubor. Yet again. You're not the only one. What does he want you to do? He asked for my aid in putting down the bandits. And he said that you might be able to help me find them. Then you've come at just the right time. I was on my way to speak with Conrad about how to organize our forces. There are more camps in the vicinity than we can safely strike at once. But we must strike together, and we must strike soon at as many camps as we can. We can't give this league of theirs time to rally its forces. All right. Which camp shall I take? There's one upriver. Just out there, across the dunes. Point me in the direction, let me handle the bandits. I'll handle all of them. If those ne'er do wells want to band together, let them. They'll be no match for us. Yeah! No howling, get out of here. What? 
noise. Joshua? That must be the camp they commissioned. Let's get him. We make this quick. Hey guys, check this out. One who Come killed Lock and Fingers. Take his head off. I said wanted to handle quick, right? Talk go talk to them. That would be cool if you could. I would love that. Have to stop using spells. No cure. Oh, I hit. All right, listen, you. To me, Flame. Come here. Stop hearing them. Is that a ninja again? Oh, God. There we go. Simple. You lose. I didn't even have to, you know, trash talk him. I was doing it for me. Not gonna be nearly this simple, though. There's no way. Let Victor know. Sid, where are you? Why are you here? Ah, I see the bandits didn't pose you any trouble. No, but that's not why you're here, is it? Yeah. No. Something's happened. We need you back in Dalimil. What is it? The whole town's in uproar. Why? They're saying that Lubor is a bearer. Uh, what? Seems that one of our parties wasn't as thorough as they should have been. They let one of the bandits escape, and his escape route took him right through Dalamo. Some of the children spotted him, and he was about to silence them. And when Lubor felled him with a bolt of magic and without a crystal. But that's not possible. It is if he's a bearer and has been hiding it all these years, which is what people are saying. If he has, well, I wouldn't blame him. No man is branded by choice. Still, all those people see is a man who's lied to them all his life. One who has made a leader of himself when the world believed he should have been a slave. Fuck. Huh. I don't know where we go from here, but I know one thing. Lubor needs all the friends he can get right now. You're right. I like how they're like, yeah, he saved the kids from getting killed, but also he used magic burn that man. And now everyone knows. <laughs> I made it a habit to keep a crystal close at hand for just such an occasion. And when that occasion arose, I forgot to reach for it. Well, it was bound to come out sooner or later. We're sorry, Lubo. We tried to keep running, but we just couldn't anymore. There's nothing to be sorry for. I rather enjoyed playing the hero for once. All that matters to me is that you two are safe. Look at him talking to his betters like it's nothing. All lies are wager, just like the ones he fed us all these years. Once people make up their minds, it's hard to change them. We need to do something, and quickly. Convince the people not to Start let their kicking some asses. I'll show them. them. Convince them that nothing has changed. That their enemy lies outside these walls, not within them. Those people are so dumb. You're right. We should speak to everyone. Unbelievably I'm dumb. I'm glad you agree. I'll handle the townsfolk. I'm a downright born and bred. They listen to me. You head to the tavern. Make Conrad and Natalie remember who Lubor really is. They know that Lubor and I are friends. I might not make for the most impartial of interlocutors. Lord Underhill of Randalar's League of Merchants, however, is a trusted and impartial mediator of note. I'll do what I can. Lubor, stay here with the children. I can't promise anything, but we'll try. 
I don't like this guy, and but this is also is really dumb. I can ask of you. <laughs> Why are you taking the bear aside? Why do they always have to make such a fucking... You knew all along that he was playing us for... Yeah, yeah, let's go, idiot. Forgive me for disturbing you, but... Could I have a moment of your time? Hmm. I've seen your face before. As have I, Lord Underhill, wasn't <laughs> it? Of the League of Merchants. Something uh, like that. That's right. I wanted to speak to you about Lubor. The rumors that he's a bearer. All true, I'm afraid. He'll never be mayor now. Not if I have anything to do with it. But what if his wares? Bearer or no, his steel is highly valued throughout the Republic. In this, at least, he's done the town a service. Might that not earn him a little leniency? Leniency? He pretended to be one of us when he was laughing behind our backs all the while. I'm sorry, my lord, but he lied to us. He lied to you. He cannot be trusted. So what do you propose? Will you drive him from his home? Close his forge? Perhaps. That is a question for the people of Dalimil, and they will thank you not to get involved. Just, just kick them. Just kick them both. The townsfolk have made their minds up. There was nothing I could do. Nor I. Conrad and Natalie refused to consider anything but their own wounded pride. So dumb. You never know. Once their anger is cooled, they might see things differently. For now, we should report back to Lubor. All right. Why the hell would Victor take the bearer's side? And that these Odin had a point, right? Like everything's falling down I around them. This the guy's in here making them a ton of money with these weapons. And they're like, nah, kick him out. There's still hope. But. But people are so perhaps dead. Perhaps not in this lifetime, I think it's fair to say. You mustn't think like that, Lubo. Give them time. They'll come around. We'll talk some sense into them in the end. You'll see. No, you won't. And your efforts would be better spent elsewhere. But Lubo. Rosina would often tell me. That steel does not lie. That a blade is a reflection of the smith who forged it. To yourself be true. That was her point. Rather an ironic one when you consider that her life was taken with a blade of her own making. But I do not doubt that she was always true to herself and what she believed in right to the end. And so must I be. I must do what I know to be right no matter what others might think of me. And now, I know what that is. I must Leave. embrace my new role of villain so that <laughs> the people of Dalamil have something to unite against. For only united can they hope to stand against the threat that awaits them. I'll need to make a suitably dramatic exit, of course. <laughs> Don't go, Lubo. You're the only one who was ever kind to us. We'll be all alone. Uh, again. <laughs> Trust me, little ones. It is for the best that I go. Not only for the town, but for you, too. How could it possibly be for the best? These children need you. The least you can do is give the townspeople a chance to change their minds. They would not take it, Victor. It's over. Over, you say? And so just like that, you're going to throw this town and these children to the wolves? I thought you were better than this. But it seems you had me fooled as well. Victor. Uh, that's not fair at all. Do what you will. Are you sure you're making the right choice, Lubo? Of those available to me, I believe it's the best one. Yes. Ah, but where are my manners? Here. A reward for clearing out that bandit camp. Right then. 
I have packing to do. If there's anything I can do. Anything. I'll bear it in mind. Thank you. There's gonna be another quest for him, isn't there? But yeah. <clears throat> it's a lot of magic ass, Jesus. Uh, oh, he's just okay. Why is everyone being mean to Luke? Really? Howdy, Marvin. Didn't do anything wrong. Okay, maybe the quest comes up later. Hmm. Okay. Really weird place to end that. Oh, right. What do we have here in Bucklad? Right behind me. Pardon me, but would you happen to Hello, be scholar? That well notched steel and impressive physique. I have need of a sword for hire, and yours looks to be a weapon well worth the coin. Might you be convinced to offer me the use of those formidable arms? How Maybe. exactly do you intend to use them? Well, being something of a scholar of Zemeckian history, I wish to investigate the ruins near the city. And I require a rugged <laughs> companion, lest I find myself waylaid by ne'er-do-wells or the beasts said to roam the area. Should you accept, you will not only earn yourself material wealth, but partake of the true treasure that awaits us there. The rich and storied history of Zemeckis. Well... Were you ever party to a final proposition? Sure thing, I might as well. Offer him use of your formidable arms. My arms are yours. <laughs> Wonderful! Then come, we must away. But where are we going? Along the old Zemeckis road, and from there, onward to discovery. Quickly, there is not a moment to lose. I'm not going to be quick about it, because i got to go talk to other Wait. people first, but... <sighs> Good luck with your ne'er-do-wells. <laughs> that man is gone. Hey, he'll be fine until we get there. I better right. make sure he doesn't get himself killed. What's happened? Dying to hear that from Clive, yeah, pretty much. If we're going oh, to do yeah, this, Eloise. Need... Clive, your timing is impeccable. It just so happens that right at this very moment. We're in need of someone with your talents. Convenient. And what talents would those be? Why, your fearlessness and your skill with a blade. I'm listening. Well, as I'm sure you're aware, when these dark skies swept over the Republic, so too did a wave of chaos and confusion. Randalar has been particularly badly affected. Many of the capital's bearers have lost their masters or taken the opportunity to flee them. None remain free for long, of course. Most find themselves under the protection of the fist before they get far. But protection. the army, too, is in disarray and finds itself unable to provide for its new charges, which means it has been looking to sell. And you've been looking to buy, to make sure these masterless bearers remain that way. Precisely. It's the perfect opportunity to free dozens more, and for an attractive price, no less. So where does my skill with a blade come in? Though we may have the funds to buy these bearers, we have nowhere to house them. So we've been searching for a place where they so can be resettled. We're going to out of town, probably. Somewhere far from the prying eyes of those who would see them enslaved once more. And we believe we have found one. Cashlock. A small hamlet hidden in a canyon. The place was abandoned a long time ago. But when the men moved out... The beasts moved in. And so we seek the aid of a fearless swordsman to encourage them to look elsewhere. Motivate them to leave. Help, won't you? How could I refuse? How could I refuse? Excellent. Theo, if you wouldn't mind making arrangements for the transportation of our guests as we discuss. It's you seem to be getting along at least. Leave everything with me. Sounds like you'll have your work cut out for you. I will. We have an entire village to stock and furnish. Residents and all. Even if I begin right now, I'll be working day and night. 
So I'd better get started. Try to clear the place out before the wagons roll in, won't you? I'll do my best. All right. We will find see. a village in Chedra's Thread, past Leitney's Cleft. My man there will open the gate for you. All right. Wish me luck. I'm sure you won't need it. Getting places. There's two. One of the other ones is right over this way. Yeah, I see her. Not her, it's in the Do you the have any fresh water? Now I just need to see about getting the word out. Tavern to... Keeper. I want to know right away. Bad news. Good, actually. Something worth celebrating for a change. Only trouble is, the serving girl's still new to the job, so I can't leave her while I go and invite those I'd like to celebrate with. What exactly are you celebrating? If you don't mind me asking. I've come by a particularly fine bottle of red. A Gotan 66, no less. Gotan Rouge is the only good thing to have ever come out of the Empire. <laughs> and most wouldn't part with a 66 if you held a knife to their throats. So I've heard. Oh. So you know of it, then. Clearly, you're a gentleman of taste. A gentleman who might sympathize with my predicament, perhaps? Would you pass the good news to a few friends of mine? I'll give you a little something for your time, of course. Sure. Sounds simple enough. So you'll do it. Marvelous. Thank you. You won't need to go far. All three of them should be right here in the market. There's Aldrich, the porter, Milan, the butcher, and Bollock, a guard over at the north gate. Three of the finest fellows in Bocklad, if you ask me. Tell them to come to the tavern when they finish for the day. Stop by again when you let them know, and I'll give you your little something. <laughs> I'll be right back. Easy enough. Error of good news. I'm actually surprised there haven't been more quests like all that, this like the bearer dead. of something. Uh, you know, most of actually all. I run by one of them. What's happened? Yes, I did. God. You're over here. Who needs a oh, this must be the porter. Yeah. I've been asked to find Aldrich, the porter. I don't suppose that's you, is it? That's me, right enough. You need something delivered. The innkeeper sent me. He said there's a cup of Gotan 66 with your name on it when you're done for the day. <laughs> a 66? Look at me. If he's just got hold of it now, it must have been in the crates he had me carry down from San Breck. From the Empire to Boklad. You must that's, be a brave that's man. Quite than a route. That's a treacherous route to the best of times. Uh, such is the porter's lot. There's not a patch of storm these feet haven't traipsed across. They'd Sauraflam one day, then off to Canva the next. The farther you're willing to go, the fatter the purse. Which is why there's no shortage of competition for some of the longer routes. I'd say I've done enough for today to earn myself a cup of something tasty. Thanks for letting me know. One down. Um... Please. Two of them up here, yeah. There's the other two, the butcher and the guard must both be over here. Oh wait. Oh is oh no this is the butcher. Are you Milan? The butcher. That's me? What can I do for you? How much fat there is in those slabs of meat in front delivery. of him? He thought you might like to join him for a cup of wine after you pack up for the day. <laughs> He knows me only too well. And I've got a ham here that will go handsomely with a nice drop. Wine and ham to spare. Barclad clearly isn't suffering, then. Comes with being the place everyone has to pass through to get to everywhere else. Those who travel the Crystal Road bring all manner of goods with them. We get meat from San Breck, herbs from Rosaria. Why, sometimes we even see curiosities from across the Narrow. Or rather we did, till not so long ago. These are lean times and... Even Bocklad isn't the bustling trading post it once was. Still, there's no point dwelling on it. Better to live life while you can, eh? And on that note, it sounds like there's a cup of wine needing my attention. It's a really weird hat he's got. 
You'll buy something, won't you? Please. You've raised they sound the price. so sad. Okay. Oh, I'm Bullock. looking for Bolek. I was told he'd be guarding the gate. Well, you found him. You're not here to enlist, I take it. The innkeeper sent me. He's just taken delivery of a rare vintage, a Gotan 66. He thought you might like a cup. I've never said no to a goat hand. I'm not about to start now. Thanks for letting me know. You must be a busy man. No one's making for the refugee camps anymore. Not after what happened in the Dominion. Yeah, that Meaning town has seen better times. Meaning here instead. I spend more of my days moving beggars along than I do manning these gates. What gets to me are the gangs that prey on the poor sods. As if they haven't suffered enough. Some days you can't help but wonder what the world's coming to. You know what? That wine's sounding better by the moment. <laughs> well done. I wonder if the innkeeper might spare a cup of that wine. <laughs> yes, there's the last there's question. Damn you. Grab on the way out. I haven't sold anything in days. really wish that he would run a little faster in the town. It would make stuff like this go quicker. Run, Clive. Run. Please. A piece of food. What's happened? I can't escape. Let's actually just grab this now, just in case. What have you got, lady? Another porter. I see you've been of some assistance to Eloise. Perhaps you can extend me the same kindness? Perhaps. What would I be doing? Finding someone. You see, I've been having trouble with thieves, and despite the many pains I've taken, I can't stop them from rummaging through my packs. I was griping about my lot to a friend of mine a few days back, and he offered to track the culprits down. Now, Joseph's a sellsword, and a good one at that. Oh no. But he's been gone days, and I'm beginning to fear the worst. Let's find Joseph. Any idea where his search for the thieves might have taken him? The old Zemeckis Road, oh, perfect. perhaps? He doubted they would be fool enough to linger here in Boklad. Joseph's lived a hard life. Made him grey long before his time. I just pray he hasn't been killed over a few sacks of grain. I can't imagine there are too many grey-haired sellswords around. Hopefully someone will have seen him. Well, we're going that way anyway, so that's perfect. Both quests in one area. Let's turn in the wine first. Oh, yeah, they're both on the way out of town. Much easier than that distance number makes it seem. Do you have any fresh water? I spoke to your friends. They'll be along soon. That's fantastic news. Thank you kindly. It's been a while since we all sat down together. And the way I see it, that wine is as much theirs as it is my own. How so? Well, I wouldn't be serving anything but slops without Aldrich to go and fetch the good stuff for me. And then there's Milan, who always sends customers my way. And Bollock, an even-handed keeper of the peace, if ever there was one. Those three are the backbone of Boklad. Lose any one of them, and the market would soon fall apart. And without the market, I wouldn't have a single customer. <laughs> I'd say that's worth a bottle of 66, wouldn't you? <laughs> and more besides. Everyone needs a shoulder to lean on. Be they world-weary innkeepers, or brooding swordsmen. <laughs> right, I'd better prepare for my guest's arrival. I hear you had me carrying a bottle of Gotan 66. If I'd have known, I would have sold the thing and lived like a lord. I'll settle for a cup, though, if you're in a sharing mood. A Gotan <laughs> 60 bloody six. Just as well I had something special of my own set aside. A bottle between the four of us might not be enough to drown our sorrows, but it can't hurt. Here they are, the three pillars of Boklad. <laughs> Sit yourselves down, gentlemen. 
The woes of the world may be monstrous and many, but there's nothing like a few good friends to keep the misery at bay. Never a, a true word spoken. Ooh, that all looks real good. Look, we had at least one happy quest. No wine for Clive, though. All right now, off to the misery. Do you have any fresh water? All right, so now we gotta go find the cell sword and help the uh, scholar down Zemeckis Road. I was gonna take his sweet time I getting out of this all. place, though. We have to ask around about the guy. What do you want? I've no coin on me. Just information. Has a cell sword passed through here? Gray hair. Now you mention it, there was. He should be a paying people for this information. They're all talking about how they're all broke. around out there a while back. Which way did he go? I. How am I supposed to know? I got off down the road, I expect. Now why don't you do the same and leave me be? Hey. Okay. Let's get outside about the missing cell sword. <laughs> Those bandits? Why am I not surprised? <laughs> Ne'er do wells. Oh, this is my guy I'm supposed to be helping, who all literally left the city immediately under attack. Stay down. Clap. Fireballed that man to death. Okay. Maybe don't run off this time? Are you hurt? Happily not, good sir. Thanks to your timely intervention. More importantly, we have arrived. Now, really? You're coming just outside? Your upon the marvel before us. Ruins. A relic of the fallen civilization. A sight so common that man is oft blinded to its wonder. Colossal vessels. Dashed from the very heavens. Airships, we call them. With very little thought to what wonders such a word might describe. So well, how do they know they Oblige were airships? Me, if you would. Does anything strike you as peculiar about this particular specimen? Though we ourselves find fallen ruins to be nigh indestructible, whatever gouged the final sin from the rock cleaved clean through the structure you see before you. A tantalizing mystery, no doubt. But merely one of countless enigmas in which Zemeckian history is steeped. Come, good sir. Our expedition continues, and we still have much to learn. So I still want to know what's with the crater. He's passionate. I'll give him that. <laughs> Come on. Fly, Ambrosia. Is he immediately? Oh my god, the bandits found him again instantly. Oh no, wait, these aren't bandits. Dude. You deserve Children a rest. Out here. We don't want any trouble. Neither do I. I'm looking for oh, someone. This is a mercenary. A gray haired mercenary. Well, we haven't seen him. Yes, we have. We saw him climbing up the rocks. Yeah. Those ones, over there. Maybe he found his thieves. Mum won't let me near them. She said there's goblins up there, and that they eat little boys for dinner. Shush, now. You've said quite enough already. I only told him what you said. <laughs> I'd listen to your mother if I were you. <laughs> A weird interaction.
Also, why was she not just saying that? Did Joseph's thieves really lug their stolen wares all the way out here? A lot of junk up here, though. Sweet, 10 gil. Sweet, 20 gil. Oh, there's goblin. I think we found our thieves. Goblin they don't prince, look happy huh? to see me. Nice try. Okay, let's try that again. No. Okay. One more. Blast this goblin to pieces with light. We we got him. Sweet, one whole goblin coin. Oh, it's still alive. Let's get this over with. Stop. Don't kill him, he's just protecting his home. Joseph? So the boy was right. I don't know you. Your porter friend sent me to find you. She was worried you might have got yourself killed. Have I been gone that long? It wasn't hard finding the thieves. The problem was knowing what to do with them when I did. I take it things are more complicated than they appear. I'd all put Friendly all goblin. bandits before I even left the market. You know what that is? Because our thieves had no interest in gold or gems or anything they couldn't eat for that matter. Add to that the rumors of goblins in the area and the mystery practically solved itself. I soon found their cozy little homestead and all the missing food. I launched myself at them full of righteous fury, but... Their leader was the only one who moved to meet me. The others, they huddled around that food, ready to die protecting it. They stole because it was that or starvation. I've been there myself, back when times were hard. So you spared them, and earned their trust into the bargain by the look of it. These goblins aren't native to the area. They don't know how to survive such barren lands, so... I've been teaching them. And once they've learned to hunt and forage, they won't be fool enough to risk their necks in Boklad. I'm impressed. I didn't know goblins could be reasoned with. Do me a favor. Let the porter know I'm safe. I'll head back to the market once my work here is done. Oh, and don't mention the goblins. I don't want people coming here brandishing pitchforks. Not now this lot of sworn off thieving. Your secret's safe with me. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay then. That was... Certainly a quest. There's just a band of friendly goblins over here. Ancient sword. That can't be any good, but... No. Cool looking, though. Back to the chocobo. You'll find this Ready idiot is probably under attack again yeah. already.
Yep. Oh, this is the part I saw somebody talking about. You go from a quest telling you, oh, these goblins are friendly, don't attack them, they're trying to live. And then immediately the next quest is, oh, there's a group of angry goblins, murder right them. Then. Who's first? Titan! I didn't have to move. Goodbye, goblins. Hopefully they weren't from that same village. I guess. I don't know. Maybe those two quests should have been, like, different areas or something. You're going to get yourself killed. <laughs> oh, that would not do. That would not do at all. Not when such majesty stretches out before us. Behold, the final sin in all its glory. As Moss tells us, a battle was fought here in ancient times. A battle of such ferocity that it tore a great crater in the very land upon which it was waged. In reaching for their holy sanctum did man enrage the gods. And great was the vengeance that was rained down <laughs> upon him. Falling asleep? Him. Go get some sleep Alas, then, Leah. The full truth of the matter is lost to time. Though I live in hope that I might see it discovered. But we must not dwell upon such things. There is more yet to see. Onward. History awaits. And he's gone. <laughs> Richard, why are you down? So we have this one, and then... Actually, how do we get there? Oh, this path must loop around, I'm guessing. Well, good news is they're leading the same way, so... Yeah. Fly, Ambrosia! Oh, the Fallen are already- oh my god, he's being attacked by Fallen now. Oh no. He's really got himself into trouble this time. <laughs> didn't I- nice try. Is that that move? Oh, I went to level it up and then I didn't actually have enough to- Tried to master it and not set it. Him out. Yeah. Enemy slip. Okay. That's the end of this now. We're in the ruins. Still in one piece. It would seem so. Once more, I am in your debt. And you once stop more, running off, you idiot. impress me with your prowess. These were no ordinary foes, but ones we in the field call Echoes. Though Moss the Chronicler concurs with the legends in attributing the fall of Zemeckis to a wrath wrought upon mankind by the gods, he offers little in the way of explanation. Could the ruins we see before us here, in all their elaborate beauty, perhaps suggest an answer? Could the construction of such miraculous edifices have been considered an encroachment upon the province of the divine? Alas, all is mere speculation. But one day, perhaps, I will learn the truth. Not if you keep running headfirst into trouble. <laughs> you are right, of course. 
And not only have you plucked me repeatedly from the jaws of death, you have proven yourself a willing audience to my ramblings. Glad to help, but didn't you say you came here to investigate something? I fear I may have rather overstated the case on that front. In truth, a captive ear was all I really desired. You see, even my fellow scholars have grown somewhat weary of my musings of late. And so I came upon the idea of purchasing a companion. A captive audience, if you will. That's what this was all about. <laughs> I am afraid so. And now, my good man, it is high time we returned whence we came. Fine. Just don't go running off this time. Don't you... D oh, don't you send me back to the town. God. Ugh. And so ends a delightful day. And I have to run all the way back Your there now. Your reward for humoring my selfish whims, plus a little extra for the trouble I have put you to. Mm. <laughs> yeah, the quest just ends. He's just like, I'm done with this guy. I'm leaving. Well, I guess I'll just turn this one in while I'm already here. Joseph's fine. He'll be back once he's tied up a few loose ends. <sighs> That's a weight off my shoulders. He certainly knows his business. He found your thieves all right. And I dare say they won't be coming back. A good man to have around, that Joseph. And if he says there'll be no more thieving, that's good enough for me. Thank you for putting my mind at ease. Here, for your troubles. For your troubles. All right, back out of town we go. What I wouldn't give for a hot meal. Looks like this is the end of the road. When are they gonna let us through? Chris and Jelly to get let through. I don't think the gates even close anymore. I just think there's no point in them going that way. The town got like destroyed. Finally. Let's, Let's go, go. Ambrosia. I would love, I have a feeling that we're not going to find out, but I would really love to know what caused this hole in the ground. It is impressive. I think I'll probably wrap up this quest and then call it tonight. We will have a few more side quests and the hunts for tomorrow and then probably the end of the story I would imagine we've got to be close assuming whatever is going to happen is going to happen at that mother crystal here oh I know what this is I've been through here before why is the map not Bandits, no huh? That's right. cool. Bye. Let's get this over with. No, it's not. Bye. Find the right way. Yeah. Oh, what am I? I could just walk. Didn't need to run this way at all. Ugh. Go this again from a much closer point. Come on. Run like the wind. Down, down, there we go. There we go. Great cost deep. All right. They're right by the river, too. Those are the original, the whole town that they just abandoned down there.
We haven't just fishing been a nice place once. Yeah, so they'll we'll already have like their food set up for them since they can just fish for stuff. Said it again, oh my god. Using the Phoenix, what are you doing? More showing up, or are we done? Oh, there's still an enemy way over here. Seriously, they need to stop. Like, oh, it's destroying me, but what if I ignore that and I just do it anyway? There we go. Fishing village cleared. That's all of them. Um, Earth and Fury. There we go. I forget again. Come on, Toggle. Let's head back to Boklad. Oh, we just to go back and talk to her. How is your Friday night going? Oh, do you have another song? What are you looking for? You. No, wait, that's an accessory. That was an accessory, not a song. <clears throat> Whatever. Well. I can spare the money, I guess. Which is a little tired? I feel that. Door. Quiet. Those are our terms. I trust that you will give them your full consideration. I shall. Thank you. I mean, yeah. That would have been the price for the bearers. Somebody you know. Yes. And, uh, no. But enough about him. <laughs> How did you fare down in Cashlock? It's done. The village is safe now. You made quick work of it, as always. I should go and let Eloise know. Don't let me keep you. Uh, but Clive, don't tell her I was watching her, will you? She'll only get upset. I'll she explain so everything weird. once you've finished with your report. All right. We'll speak then. All right. Hello, Eloise. Eloise, I just got back from Cashlock. The village should be safe now. Thank you, Clive. Here. I think really Something is out of trouble. the way, too. Well then, now that you have laid the groundwork for our little project, I suppose we'd better finish the job. The first thing we'll need to do is make sure our offer for the bearers is accepted. You're still in negotiations. We are. A trusted colleague has been dealing with the fist on our behalf, but things have been trickier than we anticipated. I suppose it's to be expected. This is the army we're dealing with. Fighting's what they do. But we shall emerge victorious in the end. Well, if you need any help, you know where to find me. I'm not sure I do. <laughs> but thank you, all the same. Kind of just, just turn up when he's looking for things to do.
Probably got enough uh, rep to go collect some more stuff from the, the base now, too. Ah, Clive. You wanted to talk? The man I was watching earlier, the one speaking to my sister. He represents the Silver Peak Consortium. It's one of the bigger trading houses. I don't think I've heard of them. Well, every trader in Darmekia has. They operate across the length and breadth of the Republic. And they're still expanding. They've been trying to get Eloise to join their ranks for some time now. And judging by her reaction earlier, I'd say she had half a mind to accept their latest offer. I need rather she didn't. I would rather she did what makes her happy. And I would never deny her such an opportunity. Eloise saved me from slavery. And we have striven to save others like me ever since. But this was not the life my sister wanted, nor the one she deserves. I won't let her give again, up on her dreams again for my maybe sake. Maybe you talk to her about she freed that. Me from my bonds. Not a stranger. And she must be freed from hers in turn. You're a good man, Thea. I have always been grateful for what my sister did for me. And I want to repay the favor. By letting her live her own life. But each time an opportunity to do just that arises, she turns it down. For my sake. She loves you. And I love her. Which is why I want this time to be different. To show her that I don't need to be watched over anymore. Though I'm sure I'll still need some help from time to time. I trust that I can count on you. Always. Thank you, Clive. Well then. I had better get back to work. These bearers aren't going to move themselves. That's a job for the Crimson Caravans. So, oh, now he gets another quest. I right, might as well do this for ah, Clive, you'll be pleased to know that the negotiations are progressing well. That is good news. Yes. Our comrade in Randala has just sent word that the contract it feels should like be, it probably be the soon. end of this line anyway. But I still have much and more to prepare. It's a huge undertaking moving this many bearers at once. You couldn't do me a quick favor, could you? Hit me. What is it this time? More wild beasts? Nothing like that. I just need you to go over to the caravans and ask El how long we have until the bearers arrive. Find out exactly how much faster I need to get all these supplies moved. All right. I'll go and ask. Thanks, Clive. I owe you one. In places, two. Come on, get moving, Clive. Thank you. Uh oh. Can't these two talk to, like, feet away? Don't blame yourself, El. This is their fault, not yours. I know, but... No buts about it, all right? Uh-oh. Is something wrong? Ronnie came to give me a message from our intermediary. The talks with the Republican army have fallen through. I've reached an agreement with the Silver Peak Consortium instead. Though prices have fallen of late, we deliberately offered above the going rate to try and deter other bidders. But the Consortium offered double what we did, and the army jumped at the chance. And you had no opportunity to make a counteroffer? None at all. And we were so close. El? They're doing it to What's get happened? her. I, I saw Vonnie leaving. She didn't look happy. And with good reason. They're trying to drag her in. But I thought we were the only ones the Fist were speaking to about the bearers. How did the Consortium even find out about this? It's not so surprising. They have ears all over the Republic. This isn't over. The Consortium will have to sell these bearers eventually. And at the price they paid, buyers will be few and far between. But I'm going to random to... myself. Alone? Are you sure that's wise? Are you offering to be my bodyguard? Hmm. How kind. Meet me at the checkpoint near the capital gates. I'll send an owl ahead and request a meeting. You go to Cashlock, Theo, and get everything ready. We've waited far too long as it is. Even if I fail to free these bearers, there will be others. Someone needs to prepare the place and keep any prowling beasts at bay. Oh, and that's me, is it? 
Well, it looks like I'm following orders till she gets back from... from meeting the Silver Peak Consortium. Who've been doing their best there to undermine our scheme. She'll never join them after this, surely. No, she said it herself. She still has plans for Cashlock, even if this one falls through. She means to stay with us, then. I can't say I'm not happy to hear it, but... Is this what she really wants? You have to trust her. Also, for the love of God, just talk right. to her. Stop talking to me. It's what she wants now. And if Hell's off fighting for the cause, I should do my part too. So I bid you farewell and safe travels, my friend. I'll gather my men and leave for Cashlock. We'll make sure the place is well stocked and defended. You go to Randala and see if you can stop my sister biting the consortium's heads yeah. off. If she won't consider her prospects, someone has to. I'll do my best. All right, right. where did she go? To Randalar, then. To Randalar. Wow, Jesus. Better not keep Eloise waiting. Thought there was a teleport down there for some reason. Hope we have to slow run through the town again. That is far too long but for it, having no up. other ways to get out of it. Looks like this is the end of the road for us. When are they gonna let us through? Mm. Almost joke about time, we're so close. Oh, as soon as my health bar shows up, that's okay, that's a better way to remember it. Let's go. Not gonna be worth anything, but I'm flying by it anyway. Might as well grab that 10 whole gill. I really think, like, with the exception of potions, none of those have been worth grabbing. For the most part. What is that up there? Just a regular dragon? Yeah, okay. I forgot they could jump. Be safe. Hello, Eloise. I hope I didn't keep you waiting. Did you arrange to speak with the consortium? Here they are now. You wish to consult with me? I did. It's about the bearers you recently purchased from the Fist. We had all but finished making arrangements to buy them ourselves. And then you stepped into the fray. You misunderstand. The consortium had an interest in purchasing them from the very first. It was only our regard for you that kept us from bidding. But your hesitancy in accepting our offer to you suggested that the regard was not mutual. And so we resumed our business. I did not crap. hesitate. I am simply not inclined to make such decisions without first giving them due consideration. But what is done is done. Come then. How much do you want for them? Alas, you are too late yet again. We rarely take on such unconventional merchandise without a purchaser in mind. The bearers belong to him now. Who is your buyer? He's not going to tell. A trader from across the water. A most demanding fellow, if it's any consolation. He insisted the bearers be fed, dressed, even given their own bunks for the voyage over. That's what you get when you deal with continental types. I wouldn't know. Oh yes, the culture on the continent is quite different to ours. They pay good money for bearers not fit for the knacker's yard, and treat them like kings. But as long as they pay... That does sound... unusual. Mm, no matter. Yeah. If they've already left our shores, there's little that can be done. Allow me to withdraw my interest. And with it, my interest in joining your organization. Huh. My associates will be sorry to hear that. Interesting to hear that anyone else is taking care of the bearer as well. I'm sorry you weren't able to save them. As am I. But I only have myself to blame. He was right, you see. The Silver Peak Consortium did intend to buy those bearers oh. before I did. 
Their representative hinted at a possible purchase when he came to recruit me. I the feigned they interest found out. in joining ah. them in the hope he might be encouraged to tell me more. And he did just that. As soon as he left, I sent my own offer to Randall R. He so was you planning. never... No. <laughs> I entertained the consortium's proposal solely and it was so I right. could learn more about those Work is very warm, and it's just going to keep getting warmer, they so find out. they try and I keep from exactly dying all the time. You tried. It's exhausting, though. I did. And if what he said was true, the bearers are to be well treated, which is something, at least. But they deserved more. I wanted so badly to see them freed. Eloise! Eloise! Oh. Word from Cashlock. The village is under attack. A pack of beasts have come down from the mountains, and there's a dragon at its head. What? Theo and the others are trying to hold them off as best they can, but the odds are against them. They need help, and fast. Theo! I'll go on ahead. Thank you, Clive. How was your day, though, Leah? I'll gather join you there. Just... Make sure he's safe. All right, time to teleport. Hold on, Theo. You here? How do you Leia? Um, yeah, this would be the fastest way down. Go twelve, go back sleep at five. All right, at least you're getting caught up on some sleep. Fly, Ambrosia. Here, Oop, down, down here. There we go. That was make some interesting sound. Last summer, I haven't swim all summer. I I haven't gone swimming at all at all either this year. No need to ride from oh, here. What is the music here? What's the situation? Apparently a dragon here somehow. How did a dragon get down here? Why? Where's Theodore? Up river! He led the dragon that way to keep it from the village. Uh -oh. But the whole area is flooded with ether. Just have to pray he makes it out in one piece. I can do better than that. Toggle with me. <laughs> yeah, I've had that happen before. I try to type too fast, you end up making a bunch of words that don't make any sense at all. But technically, he's a bearer, so he should be okay. I also didn't know I could walk around along this way. And Gil, come on. You know, we're gonna mount this further than I thought. Yeah. Oh yeah, and there's a bunch of Akashic stuff up here. That's not good. Where are you, Theo? Oh, but the birds aren't. Why with the scorpions? Be back, no problem, Hyper. So many things in here. Holy crap. Where's Theo? Damn it. The ether's too thick. These creatures have already turned. That worked very well, actually. I can't waste any more time. I need to find Theodore before that dragon does. Oh, then we found the dragon. Hey, buddy. Looks like it's found me. <laughs> this thing's turned as well. This isn't going to be easy. Yeah. Hello, dragon. Too slow. I fought much tougher dragons than you. Let's go. There we go. 
Point blank. You have a lot more health than I'd like you to have, though. The Ender Dragon or that dragon? Uh, probably the Ender Dragon because I'm handling this one pretty easy. Also, unlike the Ender Dragon, I can go to this one and punch it in the face. Like that. I don't think you can do the Ender Dragon. Or like Hyper Beam it. Health is not going down nearly fast enough. Or flip a mountain at this dragon. Oh, I was hoping to. G no way, I can still. No dragon dance. No dragon dance. Come on, come on. Whoa. Okay. There we go. One attack needed. Hopefully it's not too boiling where you are, you know. It's, if I watch Demon Slayer, I'm caught up on the anime. I haven't read the comic. But it is an amazing Five. show to watch. Fine, Theo. You had me worried for... Oh, no. Oh no. We have to get you out of here. Can, can that be reversed? I think it might be a little too late for that. Bearer or no. Oh there's no. There's only so much ether a man can take. And that Drake just wouldn't let me leave. You have my thanks. Sit for finishing what I could not for keeping else dream. Theodore. Oh, this is awful. I think once they change, there's no way to change them back either. Yep. Don't make me do this. Stop it, Theo! Oh no. Stop! Stay back, Eloise! He's turned. And so will you! No. Of my sister. Oh no, I know what he's about to do. Oh no. Wait. Goodbye. Oh.
So apparently bears in the ether floods can still be turned. That's awful. Well, happy birthday to your grandmother. <laughs> Sometime later. Thank you, Clive. I think I'll be all right now. That was true bravery, he showed. Leading the dragon away from the village like that. His first instinct was always to protect people. To put others' well-being before his own. Also, he never talked to his sister about any of this stuff. Gone. Because I sent him to that place against his will. It wasn't against his will. He was ready to do whatever it took to show you he could stand on his own. So that you would finally be free to live your own life. To live my own life? He never could come to terms with the choice I made. What exactly happened? You once told me Theo was the first bearer you ever helped. We grew up in Canva. We were born to one of the great trading houses. And I was chosen to inherit the family business. I had my father's head for figures, you see. Theo did not. While I studied the art of commerce, he played at soldiers instead. And hungry, yeah, I'm thinking about grabbing Luma something to munch on after I finish this. In more ways than one. For unlike most bearers, it wasn't until his 15th summer that his powers awakened. Wow. My parents tried to drive him out of the house and into the care of the constables. But before they could, I took him into mine. Theo told me something else. He clearly admired your devotion to the cause of freeing others like him from slavery. But he said you deserved a better life than this. He wanted to free you from what he called your bonds, just as you freed him from his. I would be lying if I said I had not wondered from time to time how much easier my life might have been if I had allowed Theo to be taken and devoted myself to the family business instead. But I have never regretted the decision I made. Being with my brother meant more to me than tradition or reputation. I only had to look at him to remind myself of that night and the choice I made and the fact that I would make the same choice again in a heartbeat. He was never a burden. How could he even think that? If anything, I was the one who weighed him down. These two just should have actually talked. Always. He said to himself that he had always been grateful to you for saving him, and that he wanted to repay you by letting you live the life you were denied. Neither you nor Theo weighed each other down. You loved one another. You did whatever was necessary to continue living your lives together, and you always would have. You're right. All I ever wanted. All I ever did. It was so we could be together. Oh, Theo. Why did you have to... Yeah, we had one happy quest with the wine, and then we have one really depressing one to, for the, to end this area, apparently. I know Theo wanted me to move on, but I'm staying here at the Crimson Caravans to continue our work. We can make a difference here. We can help people, save them. I need nothing more from life than that. So I'll carry on doing what we do, ensuring that goods, people, Bearers get where they need to be, bringing smiles to people's faces, just like we always have, and to Theo's. 
wherever he is. This is the life I have chosen. The life I will always choose. I've made a choice of my own. To continue helping you however I can. Whenever you need it. Thank you, Clive. Let's go on together then. For Theodore. Yep. MM2 Mario Maker 2? That was an experience, jeez. Ah, uh, yep. And I have the signboard from here, so yeah, that's, that's the end of this one. Again, these two should have the spoken. The Caravans is my family business now, and I would not exchange it for the world. At any point before... I brought Theo here to be safe, and I have never looked back since. All right, what's MM2 then? Eloise isn't the type to give up. Oh, now the town's gonna be talking about to it. For each other now. Oh, yeah, I have no idea what that is. All right, so let's see. That's this whole area taken care of now. Somehow, there's still no quest for whatever happened with Lubor. Okay, so there's only Sambrek now for quests. We'll get done tomorrow. Let's see what one in Northreach and one in Lost Wing. Oh yeah, so there's the Lost Wing, uh, them going against the army one, and then something here at the um, the Vale, and then I think that's all of them, unless more unlock once I finish in here. If it's not going right to the end, but oh, it was a Roblox game. Okay. Your iPad. Maybe, maybe you don't want to do that. Those are expensive. They're very expensive 